Hello everyone to this video. This video serves as a demonstration. Let me explain what this demonstration is about. In order to create a Mandelbro landscape, one has to decide on how many iterations will be considered before a pixel gets assumed to be in the Mandelbro set, and therefore will be painted black. The real Mandelbro set is a subset to any approximation of the Mandelbro set with a finite amount of considered iterations. The fewer the considered iterations, the worse is the approximation. Especially at the boundary of the Mandelbro set, much detail is lost with a low number of considered iterations. The more iterations that are considered, the more processing power is needed for computation. Considering more iterations will yield a better approximation of the Mandelbro set with more detail at its boundary. Just have a short look on the screen and see how detail arises and fades. This video serves as a demonstration of how the Mandelbrot landscape looks like with different amounts of considered iterations. To demonstrate this, we will zoom in on a particular location on the Mandelbrot landscape with different amounts of considered iterations. For easier comparison, the screen is split into four sections. In each of these sections, we will zoom into our location simultaneously. Each section uses a different amount of iterations. In the top left section there are 100 iterations considered. In the top right section, 300 iterations are considered. In the bottom left section there are 1000 iterations considered. And in the bottom right section, 3000 iterations are considered. Enough with talking. Let us see the Mandelbro landscapes in comparison. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked this video, please consider clicking the like button. And if you enjoy watching some nice visuals with explanations, consider subscribing to this channel. Let me know in the comments if there is anything you want to see next.